Good morning, everybody. It's July 3rd, 2021, and I am at the beach, <clears throat> Bodega Bay. It's 7.45 in the morning, and I'm the only one here. Yay! Well, me and my daughter we went out for a weekend trip camping. Yes, and that was kind of fun, kind of not for my daughter. She's not a big camping person. I love camping now. I used to hate camping. Hate, hate, hate it. Because uh, I would never sleep well. And I still don't sleep well when I camp. But there are... Uh, but if I get like two or... I think I got two to four hours last night. If I get two hours of sleep, then I'm doing well. And I, you know, I, can't, I chalk it up as a good day, good night. So... I don't know if you can hear the waves down there. Probably not, but it is so beautiful here. I'm, that is the arched rock. I'm at like arched rock point. Where is it? It's up there. I can't see anything because my brightness is low. But yeah, that's the arched rock right there. And there's a parking lot here. Like I said, we're the only ones here because it's kind of early. There's people driving, but not a lot. Our campsite was really rainy like um, it didn't rain but it was misting and it just there was so much mist and fog that the tree that we were under just like constantly dripped water onto our tent so it was kind of annoying you know drip 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 um, but I was so tired I slept at some points and I could hear the ocean kind of far away because it's kind of inland but um, but it was it was nice we just showed up and paid her $35 and got a spot. There were three spots left when we arrived with no reservations or anything, which was beautiful. Um, Cause originally I was gonna stay, stay in Santa Rosa, but they were booked and full, no cancellations and no help. I'm sure there's like empty sites, but you know, they weren't trying to be really helpful there, but they were much friendlier here in Bodega Bay. And I got to stay out here. First time camping at Bodega Bay it was awesome. Um, you know, it was all right, <laughs> but what a beautiful morning and look at that. I love that. I love the white water, the waves and just waking up and going for a, a drive along the coast is awesome. PCH1 right here. PCH, there it is. Pacific Ocean. I don't know if you can see that lady right there, but she just walked out like to the edge of the rock. I'm like, you're crazy girl. I would not do that but you know that's me I'm kind of at the edge but I got like a lot to go before I fall off you know <laughs> like there's like a lot of there's like 20 feet between me and the ocean here but she's just just out there with her coffee right like to the edge over there there you are there she is not me okay the sun is a little bit out it was it's out more than it was yesterday so I have to take the opportunity to go on this trail it's only almost tripped and died uh, it's only about a mile it's 0.8 of a mile so it's not long and just checking it out I hear the the coast over here so I'm hoping for a great coastal view um, you kind of see it over there so there was that other side that you could take going to the right. I went to the left. There were other cars over there. I didn't want to be with a crowd of people. But hopefully this pays off with a great view. Yeah, right around the bend here. Here's the ocean. What I come for. I, mean, I could just park at a spot and go, but I think to get to the best places, you gotta hike a little bit. And come on, 0.8 of a mile. That's nothing on this easy trail. It's beautiful. I love going to places like this. My kids and family, they kind of hate it. <laughs> so I just have to like find time to do it myself. So we could go this way, but we want to go to the beach and go that away. So let's go. Now it's going downhill a little bit. You don't want to slip and fall. I need to get those trekking poles. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so beautiful. This coast. We've been driving up Highway 1 
and it's so beautiful. You know, I've driven up it before. I don't know. I think the older you get, the more you just appreciate this nature's beauty and stuff. I didn't appreciate it when I was young. My kid, my mom and dad used to take us on some coastal trips. And I remember just thinking it was windy and why are we going this way? And didn't appreciate the, uh, wow, I could hear the crashing waves. Didn't appreciate the beauty. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Oh, listen to those waves. Okay, getting close to the edge. Don't want to go to the edge. Wow, look at that. Wow, last time I heard waves like that was in Hawaii. I really love the beach in Hawaii too, but can't go there right now. Can't afford it right now either, it's kind of expensive. So we'll settle for California. The Pacific Coast in California. So beautiful. Got like a little, I don't know. People try to build little shelters and stuff, you know, for fun while they're down there. Gosh, it's so beautiful. This was not far at all. Totally worth the hike. I found the stairway down. You go to the right here and you can go actually down there. I'm not going to go all the way down there because I have things I have to do today, but there is a way down. All this beauty you can see yourself. I'd kind of be scared of like sneaker waves and stuff, but it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. rock right here and then like beautiful homes up there I don't know if you can see them but there are the nice homes on the hill it's beautiful today and this place is beautiful it's just a small little teeny tiny town and there's a gas station over there and there's this wonderful cafe that I'm at I guess there's a visitor center I didn't see the visitor center sign right there but this little cafe I just had breakfast at there's like a wine bar but here let me go up here so you can see it so this cafe cafe aquatica looks like this little cafe unassuming right first left that you get off here from bodega and the view is amazing you get to sit at these chairs in the back and just see look at the river it's so pretty they've got these um adirondack chairs that you can sit on and have your uh, avocado toast and uh coffee mocha whatever there's little kayaks down here and there's the seating right there and you get to look at all this while you have your breakfast and that's like the mouth to the bay i believe out that way it's so pretty this little cafe and jenner i highly recommend it